Hello guys, my name is Martijn, but most will know me as Total Warzone. Welcome to a really cool but short video. Uh, just a couple of hours ago, CA released the official map with all the factions for the Imperator Augustus campaign, which releases free, free in the Rome 2 Emperor Edition. And that Emperor Edition will come out uh, free for everyone on September 16th. So basically, in this map you can see that it is quite about the same in size as the original Grand Campaign, which is cool, I like the Grand Campaign myself, uh, but this places you in the Second um, Civil War of the Romans. So I will just dive into this campaign, take a look at the regions and the factions, and after that I will also talk about a faction vote I will be doing, link is in the description and in the comment sections right now. That will be my first Let's Play campaign. Um, so yeah, that should be cool, so wait till the end for that. So first of all, let's take a look at the various Roman factions you can play as. So first of all, you have the main Octavian faction, which is the faction of Augustus. Uh, Octavian is a different name for Augustus. He's located in Italy, and you can already see that there are quite some region changes. Uh, there's a region more, for example, and he's located in Gaul over here. Then we have Lepidus, which is located in Iberia and some regions in North Africa, so he's really to uh, pose a threat uh, to the Romans right here, to Octavian, and he can invade the mainland of Italy from here. On the right side we have the third main Roman uh, faction, which is Antony, the uh, Marcus Antonius basically, and he's located in Greece with quite some regions on both parts of Turkey, uh, and one region right here in North Africa as well. So that are the three major Roman factions, then we also have Pompey, which is a smaller faction, and he's just here to stalk the other Roman factions to drive Octavian back. Uh, so if you like a Roman campaign with uh, some a little bit less regions, maybe Pompey is the faction for you. You can also see that uh, Sicily now has, or sorry, yeah, Sicily now has three regions. So for the Roman factions that are dead, then of course we have Egypt over here, you can see some nice faction recoloring and uh, that has been done for quite uh, almost all the factions and I think they will also apply in the grand campaign but I'm not sure yet. I thought in a live stream CA did lately you could see that some of the faction colors changed. Uh, but here's Egypt, just a cool uh, starting position right here, uh, not that big. Over here of course we have the Parthians which have quite some territories. Uh, like 12 or something like that, and they stretch all the way from the far east, from Afghanistan to almost in Antioch, and here he's bordering with Antony's empire. So the Parthians are really a threat for the Romans, and it's a cool faction if you want a power faction to destroy the Roman uh, forces, of course. Then we have a new faction over here, Armenia, which will also be playable in the Grand Campaign. Uh, we're not sure about the new units or trades that we're getting, but it's just partly out with uh, a different unit roster and uh, a little bit less territory, so that will be a cool faction as well, probably. Then over here we have Dacia, which is just the Gete, but at this point they were called Dacia. And uh, they control a couple of regions right there in the uh, northeast of the Romans. And uh, yeah, look like a cool starting position. You can just uh, pick some minor factions off first and then oppose a real threat to the Roman uh, factions over there. Then another new faction, the Marcomanni, and I think that's just another German faction because the Suebi was gone at this time, so there's still a possibility to play with the German faction, but you will do it under the banner of the Marcomanni. Then in the northwest, of course, CA is a British company, so we still have some Britons here. The Iceni are back, you can also play with them and just invade the beaches of the Gauls, the Belgians and the Romans eventually. Did I get them all? I think I got them all, yeah. So that makes up for 10 playable factions, which is quite a lot. Uh, the most in a campaign faction you will see yet, so that's really cool. Now let's take a look at the campaign map in general. We'll start off here at the side. You can already see that Britain has one more region. The Abdani, Caledonus, Brigantes, Iceni, Demetai and Dumnoni were already there. But now we have the Coriol, Tovi as well. Which means there will be an extra region in Britain. An extra uh, 
competitor to take control of the aisle. So that's cool. Uh, of course, more reach in Britain is always nice. Let's take a look what we got more. In Germany, we have a lot more German factions. We have the Kone, for example, with the Quadi, the Ari, just some more minor factions over here. And some map changes as well. Uh, some of the provinces, as they were in the original Rome 2 campaign, are still there, but there are some changes. Right here, Belga and Gaul are both united, uh, so they are not playable, but they are a threat to the Octavian um, lands right here. Alright, let's take a look right here. We still have Thrace, we still have Galatia, and Cappadocia seems to have a lot of territory. We also have Pontus right here, and Bosporus. And uh, Numidians are unified as well. Iberia is a separate faction. So there are like 65 minor factions, I think, but most of them control some more territory right now. There are a little bit less one ter territory nations, except for in Germany, in Britain, and some parts here in the northeast. But this uh, Drangana, for example, three regions, Persia, a couple of regions, the Numidians, a couple of regions, just two Iberian factions with more regions. So, yeah, I think this campaign really will differ from the original Rome 2 campaign, even though it's almost the same campaign map. So, I don't know what you guys are looking most forward to. Uh, I don't really care. I like to play with a Roman faction, but also like to po oppose a threat for them with another faction. So, for my Let's Play campaign, which I will do in this campaign, that will be my first Let's Play campaign on this channel, I will pick one random faction and you guys can vote which faction it will be. I will post a link to a poll in the description and in the comment section and on Twitter and uh, we'll just see what comes out of that. I will just pick uh, the highest vote uh, faction. I really don't care what it is. A Roman faction is cool of course. Um, I see me at a cool location here. Yeah, Partia is of course cool. Armenia with her new units. Egypt maybe with Cleopatra will be cool. Uh, but of course friends with Antony. So quite some cool factions over here. I really like this campaign map. Uh, CA says there will be more information on this uh, campaign in the upcoming days. So we'll take a look at that. Please vote in the uh, poll I posted below. And yeah, let's see how this goes. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you will enjoy the new campaign. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.